President Felicity Huffman's old co-stars is putting her on blast for her light prison sentence in the college admission scandal. Ricardo Chavira played Ava Longoria's husband on Desperate Housewives. He says white privilege, and I saw eight years worth of it, so I know what I'm talking about. Accountability and responsibility don't mean bleep to these people. So clearly these are some fighting words. I think either some things that he saw uh, only validates exactly what we saw, that there's two different justice systems, and Felicity Huffman clearly benefited for the one that benefits her. Uh, but do you, he did delete the tweet. Yeah. So is there some remorse there? Or? I don't know if he deleted it because sometimes when you're upset, he said that he experienced cultural biases in the office that hurt him but didn't affect her. And so I think when you're in an uproar about situations and seeing that people go to, cr to jail for much longer for lesser crimes, then he's probably just frustrated with the whole over overall system and doesn't want to take it out on ABC or Desperate Housewives franchise, I'm assuming. I'm going to be honest with you. I got a problem with this word white privilege. People throw it around way too often, you know, and it's you and it kind it of affects me. You think it dilutes me. it? It totally dilutes it because it makes me think like my accomplishments aren't my own. So if someone throws in my face white privilege, why I'm sitting here? That, that's not fair. I don't like that word. It's like me saying, Al, you're sitting here because you're black. Right. It's the same feeling that you would get. Eva Longoria is arguably more popular than Felicity Huffman. So how is that white privilege? They're both on the same show. It's the desperate housewives, not the desperate house husbands. <laughs> this, this man, I mean, you haven't been on this show for how, God knows how long. Who is this guy? Well, I, think he's that, throwing, I don't like that term that and, he's throwing around. I'm sorry. I, no, I get it. I think that people are, who, white people who are experiencing this this experience in America are saying I didn't do anything I'm not racist but it's just when it comes down to the crim criminal justice system specifically there's black men that or black women who get treated way worse for the same exact crimes and it's proven over and over again and so that's why people are like you're privileged just to sit there you go to court and you have a much higher chance of getting off or getting way less time and that's the privilege of just existing in America as a person that's I think not it's a an person. everyday think... life though like I can walk in a let me say uh, I agree with you yes you made a great point yeah because I can walk in a grocery store and I never feel like I have to be profiled. I can literally be I think in, about that every time I I'm can in the literally store. be in a hooded sweatshirt and ne I never once felt like I'm being profiled in a, a Target or a liquor store or a Kmart and but, I went to the movies right. and, and literally the movie theater told me they never saw the guard pull out their gun in Phoenix they can open carry and they pulled it out yeah in front of Colin, I just set it down yep. on the bar that was in the theater. Yep. And he's like, does this always happen? And we were so confused, and Colin is my boyfriend. So he, we were just like, why is your gun out? And it's because us re in relaxed clothes at the movie theaters in Phoenix yep. se was seemingly a threat by just going and doing everyday activity. And that's the whole point. We don't have the privilege to just freely live our lives in this country with a lot of people's beliefs towards and thank us. Thank you for pointing that out because I appreciate that and I totally hear what you're saying and you're correct. I don't know that. But people throw that word around too often for in terms that it's not needed in that conversation. People will say that to me, white privilege about what I'm doing for my job or where, I'm, where my position is in, in life. And that is, no, I didn't commit a crime. I'm not in the criminal justice system. I didn't do anything. Don't just throw that word around willy-nilly. Don't just throw around racist willy-nilly. Don't just throw around terms white nationalist willy-nilly. Because I get offended by that because I'm trying to live the best life I can, being diverse as I can and listening to opinions openly and honestly. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate what you're going through. And I know the struggle you guys have. But we're getting to a point where we're just throwing around clickbait words, and I don't like it. Yeah, I mean, well, this is where we've been for a long time, Jeff, and I think, again, what do I always say? We're having two conversations, and I think what you guys just did that was so beautiful is that you, you were able to separate the two conversations. You're saying, the accomplishments I've had in my life, I've, I've worked hard for, I've, I, 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 I fixed myself internally, that right. manifested itself out. I try and be a good person every day, and when I reach, for, when I try and extend an olive branch, I feel like the word white privilege is thrown at me. What Lindsay is saying is like, I feel what you're saying, obviously you're good at your job, you deserve to be here, you've earned this seat, but when my boyfriend and I go out, this and is I what the, this is what totally I totally get that. When if my boyfriend gets pulled over, this is what he's feeling. When Al gets pulled over, this is what yep. happens. So, you guys are having two conversations out of the same birth. And I think that's a beautiful thing. And I think a lot of people can learn from this conversation because I feel like a lot of people feel like you, Jeff. They're like, hey, I bust my butt every day. I work a jackhammer in the middle of a highway in the Florida sun. Don't tell me about white privilege. And that's not what that should be applied to. Right. That's applied to how you feel walking around in society and how comfortable you feel. So I, I really appreciate what you guys do. And I Great hope conversation. the beginning of a lot of conversations like that. Yes, yeah, thank, you. Sure. thank you. Thank yeah, you. Well done.